video is brought to you by Squarespace. From your very own portfolio to your online shop, make it with Squarespace. This drawing is from 2010. That's right, this drawing is 13 years old. My style has changed quite a bit. This one is from 2017 and this one is from 2021. So how does this drawing look in 2023? Let's find out. How much has my art improved in 13 years? Do I want to know? Well, we're gonna find out. When I opened up my iPad to start sketching this drawing, I was met with the original sketches from 2020, what was it, one? I remember really liking this drawing of her squatted and flying on her little rod thingy. And honestly, I am so tempted to use it again. I'm gonna go ahead and do a few sketches to see if I can come up with something better, but I'll be honest, I'm quite sold on that silly drawing. Haven't stopped thinking about it two years ago. Usually when I do poses for this character, I look up skateboarding poses because when she stands on her little rod thing, it's usually similar to a skateboarder, but it might be kind of fun if she's actually sitting on it. All right, so we have our first pose, just them vibing, riding, riding the rod. That sounds so inappropriate. <laughs> Let's do a more dynamic pose, shall we? All right, so her, I keep calling it a rod. I don't know what else to call it. What I used to call it. It's her rod, right? Oh God. Anyway, so she's riding it in sort of, oh God, what is this pose? And her kitty cat can be flying around her. Cute. These are, these are very quick gesture drawings. Let's do one last attempt at a landscape drawing here. Let's have her maybe about to crash. Will she crash? Who knows? It could be like an intense chase against an enemy or something. These are the most rough sketches ever. Okay, if I compare, oh God, some of these poses to our squatty one. Oh God, I love the squatty one. The squatty one is so good. I don't know if I can resist the squatty one. Y'all, I, th I think I've got to do the squatty one. I love the squatty one. Oh, does this mean I didn't improve? I really like the squat pose. Uh oh. I'll take the L, but you know who doesn't take the L? Squarespace, that's right, the sponsor of this video. As an artist, and I assume you're an artist because you're watching this video, who watches art videos when they're not artists? Yeah, you're right, normal people. And you know what? Normal people can make websites. You can make a website for anything. Galleries, blogs, normal people things. Making a website means you can have all of your social media in one spot. That's right, you can connect all of your social media accounts in one place. You see my website, you can find my Instagram, you can find my Twitch, you can find my YouTube, my Twitter, you can find all of my social media right here on my website. And as an artist, which I assume you are, you can make a portfolio or a gallery. And the best part is you can actually slap a password on that sucker so you can keep all the weirdos out. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash caseygolden to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Which wing girl sketch will I go with? Let's find out. Okay, so we've got our pencil done and I'll admit she's a little bit more in this corner than I anticipated, but you know what? I like a good asymmetrical piece, so it'll be fine. Also crazy enough, I watched the previous video where I redrew her and I even think I talked about how I haven't done watercolor or line work in a while. And I'll be honest, I still don't really do a lot of watercolor these days. I don't know what it is. I think I've just been doing a lot of digital stuff and playing around with gouache. I think gouache has especially taken over my watercolor illustrations. I think the way I draw noses has been changing recently, but 
I don't know, I kept the old way. I think I'm still transitioning between the old and new style, so I haven't quite committed to a new style. Also, is she bald? I, I feel like I've mentioned this before, but she has absolutely no hair coming out from under her helmet or anything. I assume she's bald, but maybe one year, I'll draw her without her helmet on and we'll see if she's bald or not. I don't know what it is about this part in particular, but it did make me notice that I really have been using thicker pens lately than I used to. I used to use a very thin pen, but these days I use a much, I say much thicker, it's not that much thicker, but I do use a thicker pen to ink my drawings these days than I used to. So it's definitely, something I'm noticing. Also, my word, y'all, I <laughs> struggled with these hands. I mean, they're huge. I've always drawn very large hands, but these hands were a struggle. Oof, when I was penciling them, they were, they were a lot of work. In my defense, <laughs> last time I drew her, I covered one of the hands. So at least I'm brave enough to draw two hands, right? I love how her boots still very much look like rain boots. They're clunky, they're thick, they're bad looking. And if you know where her design came from, it actually came from, and I show you in the first video where I redrew her, this was actually a project in college. They made us create superhero or villain outfits completely made out of paper. Uh, so I took some rain boots and covered them in construction paper. So that's where <laughs> that's where that comes from. I don't know, maybe they're like rubber and if she gets hit by lightning, she doesn't get electrocuted, right? Maybe. Oh no, I goofed. There's supposed to be a, a wing right here on her boot. What do I do? It's supposed to be like this. Can? Oh no, there's no way. That's so much black to erase. There's no way. I'm not really going to color them because they're white. Could I? Oh gosh, I'm afraid y'all. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to erase the pen, which is basically sanding away the paper. <gasps> I mean, it's working, but at what cost, you know? This is tragic, but I refuse to, uh, I refuse to let this go. Oh my God, <laughs> okay. It's a little wonky, but the alternative is that we don't have them at all, so. Here's a challenge, trying to draw not only a straight line, but a parallel straight line, oh gosh. Okay, so our characters are inked. It is time to ink the sort of cityscape in the background. I like the same way we did in the past where we shaped out a sky. I still do that. It's a very classic Casey thing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and shape out our city and then start blocking out windows, lights, details, and stuff like that. So now that it's time to color, I actually had a huge change that I wanted to make. When I was coloring our black cityscape, it made me realize usually that means it's nighttime and it's dark, so why do I always draw the sky so bright and blue, right? Let's actually make it, why am I scared? A dark night sky. Oh, I can even put some stars in it, ooh. I also normally put a few clouds in the sky, but our characters take up so much of the sky, I tried to shove one cloud in and it was just so, awkward and obviously forced that I just, um, you know, it's gonna be a clear starry night sky instead this time. As I get lower and lower, instead of the blue to white paper, it is blue to purple, like a, um, I don't know, night sky sunset situation. I definitely think this night sky color situation works a lot better with our black cityscape. So I'm really happy with that so far. So let's move on to the rest of our character coloring. Ooh, this yellow right next to the purple because they're complementary colors. They look really nice next to each other. I mean, uh, I totally meant for that to happen. Absolutely. All right, time to start adding our red details. She's looking so naked right now. I think adding her red clothing is gonna help a lot with that. 
Lineless watercolor details are super stressful, but they look so good. <laughs> These boots really just look like fireman boots or something. They're just so silly. She's topless, but she's got these clunky boots. Okay, we've got our base colors down. Now it's time to start shading. Honestly, she looks good. A good shading should be able to make our character look like they're in a, oh, that is not dark enough. <laughs> me, a good shading color should help this look like it's night. Also me, didn't swatch the color before using it. Did I learn nothing in these uh, 15 years or whatever? Let's try to get some dry brushing going to texturize our clouds. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'll try anything once. <laughs> Ooh, our little kitty needs little pink cheeks. Oh, I like the little kitty guy. Those little soft pink cheeks. I'm not gonna lie at this point, it's so dark and mysterious. I am this close to adding blood splatters to her, but I think I'm actually gonna call it done. Oh, wait, no! I said I wanted to add stars to the sky. Oh my God, this this pen is... We're gonna add more stars to the top and as it gets down to where the city is... Okay. Pen, you betrayed me. Oh my God, I'm being betrayed! I'm being betrayed. I don't like this pen. This pen sucks. You suck, pen. I'm getting paint all over my hands. This pen is doo-doo. I am so scared right now. Usually I would use a tiny little white Posca pen for something like this, but my white tiny Posca pen is missing and I don't know where it is. I feel like this white pen is gonna ruin this piece. Not only that, but the paint just isn't going down very nicely either. We're shaking, we're pumping. This is the worst. Can I get an F in the comments? I'm gonna stop here because I'm honestly afraid I'm gonna ruin the piece with my white pen. Otherwise, I think this piece is done. I'm pretty happy with it, aside from the stars. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Do you think I've improved? I think I have. Once again, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Make yourself a website. That's all I have to say. Okay, uh, it's the end of the video. See you next time, bye.